So these are the three types of um, decays uh, and the three types of radiations that you're going to uh, look at. Uh, we've got, <clears throat> and I've done nuclear equations to, of each one. So this is an example of beta decay, a carbon, um, the, an isotope of carbon, carbon-14, which has got um, six protons, uh, well, always six protons because it's carbon, and eight neutrons, making it a mass number 14. And that decays into nitrogen 14. And when it does, it gives off this thing we call a beta particle. On closer inspection, it turns out that the beta particle is actually an electron. But what you need to realize about this electron is there was no electron there at the beginning. There was just protons and neutrons. And so um, a beta particle isn't just an electron, but it's an electron that came from a nucleus. When you look more closely at this decay equation, at this decay, you realize that if there were six protons and eight neutrons before, and there were seven protons <clears throat> and seven neutrons afterwards, um, because I didn't give it, we didn't see any neutron being emitted or any proton or being added or either one being emitted or added, what must have happened is a neutron turned into a proton and also an electron. At A level, you also learn that another particle gets given off called an antineutrino, but at GCC, we don't need to worry about the antineutrino. That beta decay happens generally with smaller um, nuclei. Um, alpha decay, which we'll look at, happens with much larger nuclei. So here's alpha decay, and it's got a mass number of 211 compared with the carbon mass number 14, so much larger, with 84 protons and atomic number of 84. This is polonium. If you look at the periodic table, polonium will have 84, a mass number of 84, but not necessarily, sorry, atomic number of 84, but not necessarily a mass number of 211. This is the unstable ice, one of the unstable isotopes, at least, of polonium. And after a random period of time, it decays um, on its own spontaneously into lead. And when you look at lead, uh, this, this isotope of lead has got a mass number of 207 and an atomic number of 82. So the, and the thing that gets emitted must therefore, well, it would suggest um, that um, it's got a, a mass number of 4 and an atomic number of 2, and, and it does. So uh, you can see here that numbers add up quite nicely. It's a lot less bizarre than the beta decay. Uh, and an electron hasn't just appeared from nowhere. But just the two protons and two neutrons has um, fallen, uh, basically separated themselves from the polonium nucleus and shot off with a fair amount of energy, um, leaving behind um, 82 protons and the remaining uh, neutrons, which produces lead uh, 207. If you look at the periodic table a little bit more, um, you'll notice that um, this uh, this alpha particle must be a particular element. It's got a, um, atomic number of two. When you look at the periodic table, what has an atomic number of two? It's helium. So an alpha particle is a helium nucleus. Okay, and a beta particle is an electron that it was emitted from the uh, nucleus, and an alpha particle is a helium nucleus. Uh, all, a, all a nucleus is, is just a collection of protons and neutrons. And the number of the protons determines the um, element and the number of neutrons determines the isotope. So that's a helium nucleus. Gamma decay, um, they basically, the uh, nothing much, nothing really much happens. You start off with an element. We just call, we're just going to call it A or A star. The star suggests that it, it's excited. Don't worry too much about what excited means. Um, but um, after some random period of time, um, it decays into a relaxed, if you like, and it's usually called de-excited, de-excited nucleus. And um, and then the uh, in doing so, it emits the remaining the energy that it have the excess energy it did have it emits as a gamma photon or a gamma ray. So look, if you studied the electromagnetic spectrum you'd have come across gamma rays before, and it's the um, electromagnetic wave that is the highest frequency or the, low, um, or the highest energy or the, low, the, the shortest wavelength. So that's the three types of um, radiation, uh, three types of um, decay and, the three, and what each radiation is. I haven't talked about the properties of each radiation. Um, so we'll probably do that uh, next, but the first first point is just to say what it is and how it's produced. Okay, so I'll just save that.